Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, love reading for Leo. This is going to be for you to summer 2023. You can apply this to your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. This is a no contact reading for you guys. So this is for the Leos that are currently dealing with somebody that they're in no contact with. Uh, we're going to see if it's a good idea for you to reach out to this person and uh, what will happen if you did reach out to this person. Um, so apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch the roles if you want. It could be the person that you're in no contact with that's wondering this about you. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Leo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too, okay? So Leo, tell about Leo. Is it a good idea for Leo to reach out to a person that they are in no contact with for December 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Leo. And like I said, you can switch it around. Maybe this person's wondering this about you, okay? So we have the Queen of Swords and the Hangman. Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Hangman, Piscean energy here. We have the Page of Wands and the Hierophant. Um, I feel like you're that Queen of Swords. And I do feel like this little pager is trying to reach out to you. The problem is I feel like this person's not really going to do anything to make things right here with you. Uh, however this is, I feel like this person lacks a bit of a moral compass here. Uh, if this person does reach out to you, you know, they're, you're going to kind of leave them on red or that you're kind of going to ignore them here. Um, but whoever this is, I feel like this person's very, very emotionally immature. I feel like this person might even throw a temper tantrum here. Yeah, you know, I just feel like you separated from this person and I still, still feel like you're still recovering from this whole situation where you're being juggled by this person here. I feel like this person really betrayed you. I feel like you were under the impression that, okay, you guys are soulmates. You guys are working towards higher levels of commitment here, marriage, commitment, moving in together. I just feel like it didn't happen. You know, I feel like this person consistently made you feel like you were walking on eggshells with them because everything that you did, this person was complaining about it. This person was telling you that you were wrong. You were not right. Why do you do this? Why are you so annoying? You know, yada, yada, yada. And I feel like over time, you just started to become very uncomfortable with this person. So I feel like you know that it's not a good idea to reach out to this person here, Leo. Tell me about the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here? The Hierophant in the Six of Wands. This person operates on the ego. This person feels like they're holier than thou. Yeah, I feel like this person is better than, it feels like they're better than the higher power. Yeah, I don't know what planet this person came from, but um, this is not really someone fun to be around, okay? Uh, tell me about the Two of Wands. I mean, they might be fun in bed, but I feel like this person doesn't really have a lot of depth or substance in, uh, in them. Um, we have the Magician Gemini Virgo. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this person is really manipulative. You know, with the Magician and the, two, uh, and the High Priestess here, you know, I just feel like you just know better. Yeah, you just know better and you just rather, you know, do your own thing, manifest what you want here. And I feel like, you know, you're going into this trusting your own intuition at this time. All right. What else do we have here for Leo? What else does Leo need to know, look out for, work on for, um, or what will happen if Leo had no contact with this person? What will happen if Leo had no contact with this person for December 2023, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Leo? Yeah, it wouldn't be that great. <laughs> I feel like this person will lie, but also at the same time, you wouldn't be, you wouldn't be surprised either. Yeah, you wouldn't be surprised. We have the Tower, Aries, Scorpio. Um, we have the Devil and the Fool, Aries, Aqu Aquarius energy, and the Devil, Capricorn energy. Yeah, it seems like you're, you know exactly what you're going to expect from this person. Toxicity, temper tantrums, um, rage, uh, lack of commitment here, just lying. Um, I, I feel like this person also tends to have like, I, I feel like this person might have a sex addiction here. You know, I feel like this person likes to feel all powerful. I feel like this person feels like they are hot, hotter than sliced bread. Um, but you know, I do feel like eventually, yeah, I do feel like this person will reach out to you. They will try and sneak back into your life. 
You know, I feel like they, they feel like they're missing a lot now that you're not in their life because I feel like you offered something to them that they lacked. Um, the thing is, I feel like this person is really controlling. I do feel like this person has a bit of a razor sharp tongue here. Okay. I do feel like this person is very, very inconsistent, very in and out. You know, I feel like one moment this person is completely stable and I feel like the next moment this person is like completely losing their mind here. Okay. Uh, tell me about the devil card. Why is the devil card here? The devil and the five. Of, yeah. This person has a lot of anger, by the way. And they feel like that's why this person takes out a lot of things on you. Uh, you know, I do feel like at this reconciliation will not really be successful. You know that it's uh, this conversation or a conversation with this person will not go anywhere. It will end up in a fight because I feel like this person choose the fight instead of choosing to resolve. This person's always picking fights. This person's always looking for problems. Uh, this person definitely has like control issues or something like that or major insecurities. I feel like they pick fights or that they cause fights to make them feel significant, you know, to make them feel important. So I feel like that's the reason why they do that. But with the Three of Wands, you've definitely turned your back on this individual here or that this person could be yearning for you here. Yeah, you made a decision to close out the cycle here and just focus on your healing. You know that there are better things coming in for you. Uh, you know, with the Ten of Wands, you guys could have gone through like a huge major release here. And, you know, you, you realize that, you know what, I'm better off you know, focusing on myself and taking my chances and looking for new love or that you guys are just at this time really just filling up your own cups at this time. Really nourishing yourself, nurturing yourself, making yourself happy, you know, and doing things that make you happy. So whoever this is, if, if this person comes back, you kind of know what to expect or that you're not surprised that, you know, this person is lying their way back into your life or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You might feel this person as someone here who's just very delusional just very delusional, um, just doesn't live in reality, okay? So, um, so Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.